What's up, guys, and welcome back to the John Q channel. Thanks for watching. If you've not heard, you're probably living under a rock. But today on Saturday, July 13th, Donald Trump gets shot at at his own rally. And guess what? He was surrounded by law enforcement, secret service, and security at his disposal, which brings me to the point of this entire video. And that's even with all that security, all that law enforcement, the government cannot protect you, which is crazy to say from a former law enforcement officer. I'm here to tell you that newsflash, we get there after the incident occurs. It is very rare that we get there right before something happens. And yeah, we encounter those things, but most likely if an active shooter is present, we're going to respond after those shots are fired, as we saw here with former President Donald Trump. Take a look at what happened. Oh. Get down, get down, get down, get down. One of my key takeaways from this entire thing, which by the way, if you want to see more of what's been going on or what has happened, I've been posting quite a bit on my Instagram account, people's reactions and stories to the shooter being shot down. Like I, I show you the person that was shooting Donald Trump like he's on there. So go check it out. But anyway, even with all that law enforcement surrounding former President Donald Trump, they got there, they formed uh, a wall after he got shot. Right. So that's kind of the entire point of this video. You should buy a gun because what have we learned? The government will not protect you. So stop playing around. Go buy a gun. Go buy a Glock 19 Gen 5. It's going to cost you 800 bucks with ammo, 950 bucks. Big whoop. Also, if you're like me and you have a gun and you carry to protect yourself and your family, you need some really good insurance. If you were to get into if you were get if you were to get into a situation and pull out your gun and neutralize a threat, what are you gonna do after? Are you gonna lawyer up? Well, that's gonna cost a lot of money. That's gonna cost your job. That's gonna cost time. Yeah, it's a big deal. Which is why the team over at Right to Bear is gonna give us 10% off their yearly subscription. If you go to righttobear.com and use my code JQ10, you get 10% off your entire order or yearly subscription. These guys are professional in what they do. They have the top lawyers, the top people inspecting cases and being on top of it with case law and case studies. So if you want protection after you protect yourself or your family in any kind of scenario, go to righttobear.com and use my code JQ10 for 10% off. And here's the thing, like I know that law enforcement at the scene did what they could to protect Donald Trump after he got shot, right? Like they have procedures and policies that they have to follow and they did those things. They protected him and they surrounded him. They had all these, I mean, it was all a good job by law enforcement because at the end of the day, the good guys with guns who are armed won. But here's the thing. If you're out and about with your family or by yourself and something happens, are you going to wait for law enforcement to get there? It is your God-given right to protect yourself, your family, and those around you. So go to your local gun shop, buy a Glock 19, go train with it, go to courses, buy ammo, go to the range, train some more, and never stop training and always carry your Glock 19. Because what have we taken away from today? Well, former President Donald Trump, surrounded by all law enforcement possible, still can get shot. And he was this close to dying. But I guess the point of this video is to show you that, again, the government won't help you and won't protect you when you need it. I don't really understand why people fight against it. If you are against guns, that's fine. This is a free country. You can be against guns. But like, give me a good solid argument as to what you would do if someone came at you with a gun. You would probably die. So go buy a gun, go train, and carry a gun with you so that you can protect yourself and your family and those around you. Like at the end of the day, the security that was there for Donald Trump, like that was their job to protect him, not to protect you. At any given point, this shooter could have not only shot President Trump, but shot multiple other people. And like, think about it. If you're by this guy, you're just going to let him shoot off a couple rounds. <laughs> no way, dude. Like you go to work and you bring that threat down.
But that wouldn't be possible if you didn't carry a gun with you. So stop your complaining, go to your local gun store and just ask, hey, I'm new to this. How do I buy a gun? Maybe actually, maybe what I'll do, I'll make a video on how to buy a gun so that people can actually learn on how to buy a gun. Then they can carry a gun and have the gun with them for protection. I hope that these events have inspired you or even just opened your eyes to the chaos that can happen and ensue every single day and ask yourself, when I leave my house, am I protecting myself to the best that I can? Will this pocket knife do in, in a scenario where I have to defend myself? Most likely, I, I would think not. A gun is the most efficient way to stop a threat. It can give you distance and accuracy within seconds. That's just the bottom line. Every single day you step out of your house with your family, there is cause for potential craziness, chaos to happen to you and your family. And you're going to tell me the way that you're going to protect your family is with a pocket knife or calling the police with your phone? Bro, by the time something bad happens and it reaches you or your family, you might be dead. But if you had a gun, you have that much better of a survival chance to survive that incident or situation or whatever it may be. So yeah, I'm telling you to go buy a gun for the hundredth millionth time. Bottom line, the government cannot help you and sometimes they won't protect you or help you when you need it the most. So that means you, the responsible man, the responsible woman who has a family, who has kids, go protect yourselves because at the end of the day, no one's coming to help you. No one's coming to protect you and your family. It is your job. It is up to you to protect yourselves. So go buy a gun and learn how to use it. Guys, it's not that deep. Literally, I'm just saying protect yourself, protect your family, go buy a gun, go train, buy some ammo, go to the range, go train, have a gun. It's better to have a gun and not need it than not have a gun and have to need it. That's it. Anyway, thanks for watching. And let me know if you guys like this setup here, I might do more of these kinds of videos where I just sit and talk to you. Let me know what you guys think about that. And with that being said, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace.